The open mid-back unrounded vowel, or low mid-back unrounded vowel, is a type of vowel sound, used in some spoken languages. Acoustically it is an open mid-back central unrounded vowel. The symbol in the International Phonetic Alphabet that represents this sound is, graphically a rotated lowercase v, called a turned v but created as a small capital without the crossbar. Both the symbol and the sound are commonly referred to as either a wedge, a carrot, or a hat. In transcriptions for English, this symbol is commonly used for the near open central unrounded vowel, and in transcriptions for Danish, it is used for the somewhat mid centralized open back rounded vowel. <laughs> Features Its vowel height is open mid, also known as low mid, which means the tongue is positioned halfway between an open vowel, a low vowel and a mid vowel. Its vowel backness is back, which means the tongue is positioned as far back as possible in the mouth without creating a constriction that would be classified as a consonant. Unrounded back vowels tend to be centralized, which means that often they are in fact near back. It is unrounded, which means that the lips are not rounded. Occurrence <inaudible> 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 Before World War II, the of received pronunciation was phonetically close to a back vowel. This sound has since shifted forward towards a near open central unrounded vowel. Daniel Jones reports his speech Southern British as having an advanced back vowel between his central and back. However, he also reports that other Southern speakers had a lower and even more advanced vowel approaching cardinal a. In American English varieties, e.g. the West and Midwest, and the Urban South, the typical phonetic realization of the phoneme is an open mid-central Truly backed variants of that are phonetically can occur in inland Northern American English, Newfoundland English, Philadelphia English, some African American Englishes, and old -fashioned white Southern English in coastal plain and Piedmont areas. Despite this, the letter is still commonly used to indicate this phoneme, even in the more common varieties with central variants, or This may be due to both tradition as well as the fact that some other dialects retain the older pronunciation. <laughs> Notes